Hello, hello, hello. How are you? Good. How are you doing, Mark? <laughs> good, good, good. We're dropping in to talk about this new podcast that I'm launching, uh, Business Stories of Success, Business SOS. And everybody thinks to save our shit, but no, Stories of Success. So I'm amped because uh, they told me to make episode zero, and I kind of want to do it in the setting that I'm going to do it with my clients, with my, with my podcast interviewees, not just clients, business owners. You know, we get stuck with the same verbiage, right? Right. So the idea is that I'm going to do an interview style session and you're the host instead of me. So I'm going to interview it. you. Awesome. Interview okay. Me. All right. So these are some basic questions that you ask your clients, business owners, whenever you bring them on. Correct? Correct. Okay. So who are you? What do you do? And why did you decide to start this podcast? Oh, wow. Thank you. What an interesting question. I'll answer those this way. Because <laughs> I won't <laughs> ask about the podcast, but it's something similar. Right? So my name is Mark Adams. I'm the owner of MCA Certified Tax Preparers. Ironically enough, not ironically enough, but interestingly enough, I've been in business for almost 20 years. I think that's interesting because I never think I'm so old, but time flies. I had a whole career before I started the business, and now I'm in business almost 20 years. I guess that's why everything is great. If you're looking on the videos, right? Um, why did I decide to, oh, business, MCA certified tax preparers, but I'm moving, I have been moving for the past several years to doing more business advisory services. Why? Because tax preparing is done after the fact. So you, if you have a business and it's a disaster, the only thing I can do is reconcile your information and help you to understand why you failed. Advisory is different. I help a person to thrive. I inter intercede before they fail. So that's why I went into the advisory service and why I love it so much because I think it really makes more of a difference than just doing books and numbers. Although we still do the accounting, the advisory is the most important piece. Now, why did I start the podcast? Funny story, I'm not gonna drag it out, but I have two brothers, an older one and a younger one. My older brother is, uh, an employee and he has been for years, but he is the leader of the of the bunch. And one day we were chatting about business and I had dropped some knowledge on him about the difference between an investment and uh, an investor and a business owner. And he said, you know, man, you always got such knowledge. You need to share it. You need to have a podcast. And my response was, that's a podcast. <laughs> what? Are you serious? He's like, podcast, man. And he starts telling me about it. And I'm like, he's like, you don't listen to podcasts? I'm like, no, who listens to podcasts? And he's like, dude, I listen to podcasts all the time. I listen to stuff about rap. I listen to stuff about music and, and, and sports. And I'm like, dude, I would never listen to a podcast. And, but when my older brother speaks, I listen because the guy is just wise. So I said, let me listen to a couple podcasts. And I get it. And so I... I, I I actually just threw it up to a couple other of my friends. Hey, you think I should do a podcast? Dude, you really need to. And I was like, okay. So I put it on the back burner for over a year mm -hmm. because I made the classic mistake, if it's a mistake that most business owners make. I was so busy working in my business. I didn't work on my business and doing a podcast. It's all about helping businesses. So this year, with your help, which is why you're here now, you were able to allow me to delegate certain tasks so I can do other things and grow and podcast became a reality. I wanted to do this podcast stories of success because in my travels now, working with businesses and business owners, I find that there's some key elements that successful business owners have. And I wanted to share that with other business owners who might be looking for key elements. And I'm always enamored with people who have good businesses. Like I'm like a child, I get amped. Like, oh man, you got an office. And, and I just like, love to share those stories. If they can do it, Anybody can do it, right? That's what they tell right. me too. So I'm hoping that I can share these stories of success with people who are either starting a business and, and want to know what's, what, what do I need to make to be successful or who are in a business who are struggling to survive and saying, I want to throw up my hands. You don't have to throw up your hands. You can make it happen. Or who have a very successful business, but still are looking for tips on how to make it even better. I work with business owners on all those different spectrums. Even now, during COVID, my phone is ringing. But right. we make time for what's most important. So right. that's why I started the podcast. And I hope that people get real benefit out of it and enjoy some of the stories. 
so far I've got a cast of characters that are a lot of fun. That's awesome. That's great. I'm really looking forward to hearing the podcast and getting information myself out of them for my business. You know, I, I'm really excited to hear that. So my next question, it's entitled Business Stories of Success. And I think maybe you covered some of that whenever you were just now talking. But what gave you that, um, what, what gave you that interest that you wanted to name it Business Stories of Success? Because it, to me, it's really about storytelling. It's, it's, you know, it is an interview style, but it's, it's hearing the person's story, their journey, you know, um, and really getting a, a clear picture as to what got them where they are today, right? I think if we tell enough stories, somebody can put together the mosaic and come up with their picture and say, okay, this is how these 15 people did it. This is how I'm going to do it. And really, that's why I named it that. All right. So you can take a collaboration of all those tips, one, one business owner can, and mm -hmm. apply it to their business as well. Right. And okay. we don't want it to be long and drawn out. It's, hopefully, these things stay around 30 minutes. We know we want to honor people's time. But a 30-minute tidbit is, is just about the time of a sitcom. <laughs> so, exactly. you know, hopefully that'll, that'll resonate with people and they can watch the little sitcom because we're going to be doing it. You know, you have the audio podcast, but also the video so you can see us live in our environment. So, so that's going to make your podcast just a little bit different yeah, than someone so. else's. I think so. That's pretty good. Okay. Last question. Yes. Do you consider yourself successful? Hmm. Loaded question. Um, I think success is something that's evolutionary. Uh, and so I do think that I'm successful. Am I as, as successful as I want to be? Not yet, but I'm getting there. I've managed to hit these tiers of success, which makes me feel good. I remember my first year in business tax season, barely got any clients. I had left my full-time job. I was making six figures as a programmer, a computer programmer. And, you know, phone was busy in April. April uh, 15th at 1145, I was finishing somebody else's tax return. I was so excited. April 16th, everything dies. Started panicking, started looking for temp jobs and all those kind of things. I said, man, this is gonna be rough. But since that time, I've built a business that keeps me busy year round, so much so that I decided a few years ago, it's too much. And I started learning how to delegate. And I started learning how to work four days a week because that's what I wanted. And that to me is success. Everybody has a different vision of success. So yeah, I'm successful. Uh, can I be more successful? Of course. But I've gotten to a point where I can say that owning a business is a pleasure. It's not a grind. It's a pleasure. That's success to me. Thank you for asking. Great. That's great. So you're like me. I want to get up in the morning and I want to go and start working for my business. Yes. It's not yes. like a daily grind. You want to do it. You want to be excited about it. Absolutely. So I'm really, really excited to start hearing your podcast, and I just can't wait. Is there awesome. anything else that you want to talk about with your podcast? I guess, yeah, I mean, it really is about my my stories, my, my interviewee stories. It's not about me. It's about them, because that's what's going to help us all to grow. I listen to their stories, and I grow myself. I get, uh, I enjoy them. There's like an entertainment part of it with some of them when they tell you how they got into business or how, they were, how they're doing business. But there's also this educational piece. So I'm just really excited for people to, to hear the stories of these business owners. And as always, we're going to be looking for more successful business owners. There'll be an invitation for that. I'm hoping that people will subscribe to the podcast. Uh, our launch date, I'm going to say it now, 5-15-2020. I'm scared. Awesome. But we're ready to rock and roll. So 5-15-2020, we'll be dropping our first one. Uh, and I think you'll really, really, really enjoy it. And we're going to have a bi-weekly podcast every other week. There's going to be a story of success for you to grab, hold, and learn from. I think that's, that's it. Okay, that's great. It. Great. Hey, thank you so much, host Nicole. You're welcome, Mark. And we're looking forward to seeing your story of success, girl. Yes. <laughs> I right. can't wait to record it. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you.